ABC. First person I've seen in about 50 miles. Hey, I'm looking for somebody. A colleague of mine, a professor named Jim Wilson. He mailed a letter from a little motel down the road. You come burning up here pretty quick. Your friend may be in some kind of trouble? I don't know. Folks at the motel said he was sick with fever. And then he asked for directions to this missile silo. Well, I ain't seen nobody on the other side of that chain fence, mister took them protesters way back. Now, the government said they were going to seal this silo about a year ago, but I reckon they just never got around to it. Well, mister, I got about 45 more miles of barbed wire to check before dark. Sounds like you stopped by here a lot. Oh, I'm just curious, I guess. Curious about what? Curious about what's doing all that pounding.
found you. Why don't you let me give you back your old office, Jack? Well, Reed, if you did, I would be tempted to actually write stories for you. You pick all the weird ones. This is an obsession, Jack. This isn't news. You want to see news. That's news. That's what you used to do. I, um... I have to go to Boston. I didn't assign you to Boston. I'll only be gone for a few days. You just got back from that silo in Colorado. You keep reading the news off the wires like you were looking for something in particular. I don't even know what it is, and I'm your best friend. <laughs> you're, you're my only friend. I'm just the only one you haven't dodged in the last two years. Probably because I let you use my resources. This is the last time. I'll send you the story. We've been discussing the ways in which various life forms invade host bodies and redirect the entire functioning of those which are invaded. Uh, Ebola, Zaire, bubonic plague, HIV, etc. There's a fungus in the Amazon jungle called Zingola. This fungus is eaten by monkeys. Now, it leaves the motor reflexes of the host monkey intact, but it completely takes over the parts of the brain which dictate needs and behavior. And now we have a monkey that's driven inexorably to make its way to the very top of the jungle canopy where it waits patiently. His uh, head becomes bulbous, becomes grotesque, and finally the uh, the uh, head explodes, killing the monkey. Uh, killing the monkey and spraying the fungus spores into the air. Where they drift out over the jungle to land and be eaten and flourish again. Question. Is this fungus evil? No, it's just trying to survive. That's a good answer. Unless you're a monkey. I'm sorry, excuse me. Bob, take over this class. My name is Aaron Rainier. I found your lecture very interesting. Really? What did you find interesting about it? To the part about evil. 
Yeah, well, we don't usually do good and evil around here. That's the philosophy department. That's down the hall. We do science here, epidemiology. Can I help you? You know the truth. You saw it in the silo. What do you know about the silo? Did you really think the thing was going to go away? No, I think maybe you better leave. The entity was in tune. You let it out, and now it's on your head. Listen, I'm a scientist, all right? I don't believe in the boogeyman. Really? Really. That will change. Did it try to enter you? Listen to me now. Something bad is about to happen. We don't have much time. What the hell are you talking about? The entity's here. Is she responding? No. I've been pumping fluids, but I can't get any blood pressure. Oh, my God, she's Annalise's sister. Where's Annalise? She just went off duty. Well, get her before she leaves. She was struck by a car. There's massive internal injuries. Pupils are dilated. They're five millimeters and fixed. I'm seeing bradycardia, Doctor. Low blood pressure. The men is swollen. Stumping a lot of blood. Soda bicarb, one amp, IV stat. I've got it. Blood gases, CBC electrolytes. She's arrested flatline, no pulse. Atropine stat. IV push. Precordial thump. Beginning CPR. We've got a V-fib sequence here. Lidocaine drip. Give me an epidemic. Two percent width. Go ahead, Elise. She's yours to the fifth. Do it now at 200 watts. 200 joules. Clear. Clear. More jail standing by. There's still no response. That's it. We've lost her. I'll mark time of death. Annalise, I'm so sorry. St. Patty's Day. Happy St. Patty's Day to you, sir. Temp's still too high. Hang in there, Annalise. Without chemical spills in the ER, ventilation leaks, and mass hysteria. Only the ER nurse exhibits symptoms. The perfumes her body's producing have to be toxic to her neurophysiology. Yeah, that would be my guess. We don't know what we're dealing with. I think we better open her up in an isolation bubble. Jack Mann, Associated Press, can you tell me why the Center for Disease Control was called into this case? What caused the fumes in the emergency room? We won't know anything until the autopsy. Was it something that came out of the dead woman and entered the nurse? What did you say? Who told you that? Any questions that you have can be answered at the news conference after we have the results. It was stated in the wire service, the doctors in the ER felt the presence of something passing by, a cold chill. That might play well for your story, mister, but the fact is, this is a routine job for us. I'm uh, Carl Reitman. I'm the sole member of the Dynamo public relations team here at this hospital. I don't think I've seen you around. Jackman Associated Press. Is it all right if I ask you some questions? Well, absolutely, Jack. Fire away. It's a public institution. It's just, I'll give you a little tip. Uh, most reporters check in with me first. Yeah, so what's the public relations team saying about the mystery fumes? Oh, well, there's nothing all that mysterious about it, Jack. Uh, 
Matter of fact, they tried to explain it to me, but it got a little bit technical and... Could I get an interview with the nurse? Oh, she's in the ICU. She's still in a coma. Man, it'd be a sin for the, the tragic death of that young woman to be exploited in any way. Don't, don't you think so, Jack? How about the doctor? Well, he's off duty right now, but I tell you what, I'll have him paged, and I'll see if he... Carl? Can I call you Carl? Something smells kind of funny. No pun intended. <laughs> yeah, nor taken. Listen, Jack, you know, we're going to be issuing an official statement very soon. Until then, why don't you come to my office and I'll... Thanks. You've been a big help. My pleasure. Would you look at this? The entire nervous system is fried. It's as if... as if she's been struck by lightning. No hit and run could cause this sort of damage. This woman died of a total system collapse. It wasn't a virus or a bacteria. I've never seen anything like it. All right. Nothing that's been witnessed here leaves this room. Is that clear? Dr. Linus, did you find what you were looking for? What do you want from me? You didn't, did you? We'll know more after we've run some tests. Even if they run the tests, they won't be shown to you. Listen. All right, hypothetically. If there was such a thing as an entity, what's its life cycle? What's it feed on? It gains the most power from those who resist the strong. They suffer before they die, like your friend Jim Wilson. They burn up faster when they resist. And it always kills the host. No, not those who desire the power. It's trying to find the perfect vessel, the leader who can create terror on which it feasts. Just open your history book. History is full of monsters. It's apparent that you need to see the proof with your own eyes. The answer is in that room. Can I help you? Uh, I was told by the lady in admitting that my sister was here in the ICU. Uh-huh. Does your sister have a name? Yeah, Annalise Summer. Oh. Well, Annie is our head nurse, and she never mentioned a brother. Well, I was the black sheep of the family. But my folks, they forgive me now. Oh, that's good, because they died when you were little kids. I need to see Annalise. I was told you'd probably come by, and if you don't remove yourself from my line of vision, I will come across this desk and take that camera and reposition it so you'll have to bend over to snap a picture. Are we clear? Yes, ma'am. <sighs> Carl Reichman, please. Did you actually see her lying in there? Who? The nurse, Annalise Summer. Did you actually see her? No. And how did you know what I was doing in there? We're gonna have to get her body out of here. I'll need your help. 
And what would you suggest we do with her body? I have a vault I've arranged for on a cargo ship in the harbor. We can take it out to sea and sink it. It'll be entombed for a very long time. Let me get this straight. You're standing here telling me you're planning on killing her? I'd kill her without hesitation. I'd kill you, too, if you were lying in there. Then you're asking for my help. Why don't you go hassle someone else? If I fail, you will have to do the killing. Jack. How did you know my name? You may be the one I've been looking for. The one who will take my place. Whatever happened to you that you got to be so crazy? Same thing that happened to you, Jack. Except that not only did it kill my wife and child, it killed my mother and sisters. It killed my entire world. How did you know about my wife? I keep very careful records of everything that is done. Who the hell are you? I am the hunter. The entity that murdered your wife and child is inside the nurse lying in that bed. Now, will you help me? Excuse me. I'm Annalise Summers' grandfather. I've come a long way to see her. I was told she was here somewhere. Mm, do you have an ID? Of course. All right, thank you. Which room? One right over there. This elderly gentleman has collapsed. Let's get him onto a bed. I'll admit him myself later. Isn't it possible that there was something else in the hospital, something that happened that caused the fumes? As I stated, the fumes which affected the ER staff were the result of an unusual chain of chemical reactions in the patient's blood. When the ER nurses drew blood from Miss Summer, the sudden sharp drop in temperature created dimethyl sulfate crystals, which in contact with air spread a nerve gas through the ER. There's absolutely no trace of dimethyl sulfate in the hit and run victim. There's no way she died from nerve gas. It's not there. I didn't think it would be. It's a total bull. But I did find uh, some strange kind of chemical combination in the blood. You run it on chromography? Yeah. Uh, Thyroxin and adrenaline. What? Yeah. That's enough to fry our brain. Good work, Bob. None of this fits. Well, the readings indicate some kind of massive nervous system damage from stress or terror.
Jack Mann. I'm a journalist. I've been looking for you. What happened to you in the ER? Please, I need to know the truth. Help me. Did you put me up? Something's inside of me. It's inside my ear. It's whispering terrible things. Don't listen to it. I'll stay with you. I killed my baby sister. Why? There's an old man. He's here in the hospital. I think he knows. He can help. Not anymore. When I entered your wife through her eyes, Jack. Beautiful green eyes. I saw your baby. But you would have loved that little girl, Jack. She looked just like your wife. Same pretty eyes. Yes! <laughs> If it was dimethyl sulfate, the crystals would still be in the syringes. Where are they? No, the syringes were incinerated as biohazards. The body's been cremated. What are you talking about? We could have studied that woman. Now, what if this happens again? It won't happen again. You know that. Well, the only reason it's in the nurse's blood system is because it was unique to her specific pathology. I saved tissue samples, Cornelius. I ran an independent analysis. There was no dimethyl sulfate in that woman, and you know it. You did what? You stole tissue samples? You heard me right. Just who in the hell do you think you are? Like I'm an epidemiologist. I don't care. You have That's no a right. That's branch of science. You remember science, don't you, Cornelius? Oh, hell, Linus, I don't know what killed her. But I do know I can't let one bizarre case draw attention to this hospital. Why? What's so special about this hospital? I have to ensure the security of government research I'm involved with here. What research? Let it lie, Linus. That's my advice. Not on your life. You're in the silo. You felt it. You have to help me find it. What are you talking about? Your friend, Jim Wilson. He was tracking it, too. Now it's here. It's loose in the hospital. Where is it now? It's in the nurse. Are you Jack, man? Yeah. You'll need to come with me, please. Both of you. A nurse has locked herself in. Says she wants to see some reporters she met in the hospital. Uh, we can take a couple of That is of the last damn thing I want is some reporter warning her out of here. I have got to keep this operation secure. Colonel, can I give you a little piece of advice? You give her anything she wants. If that bacteria should get out of there, we can infect an entire city. And there's no vaccine. Find that reporter. Evacuate the hospital. Seal off the containment wing. Stop anyone who tries to leave. Too 
dangerous, and I want this hospital evacuated now. What the hell is going on here, Cornelius? Are you Jack, man? Who are you? Will you come with me, please? Just hold on. Cornelius. The Army has been conducting experiments here. They developed a mutation of necrotizing fasciitis. There's no vaccine for it. Will you come with me, please? This nurse wants to see you now. You try to tell me that the Army's been playing around with a flesh-eating bacteria right here in the hospital? Yeah! You can talk to her through this. Annalise, it's Jack Mann. Annalise, I want to talk to you. We've been looking for an antidote vaccine. Oh, good. Just in case someone like the North Koreans had the same idea. This stuff is unbelievably lethal, Linus. It can devour an entire army in hours. The old man said the fumes were an omen. Jack, come in here. Hey! You don't know what she's released in there. What's an ER nurse doing on a high security list anyway? She's on loan to the project because of her ER experience. She's our hedge against injury. cut off from inside the building. It's someone inside the hospital. of you is forcing you. I want you to tell everyone. I want you to write it down so they know I would never do this. You'll never get out of here with that thing. Why don't you give it to me? <laughs> I, I keep trying to stop it, but it just keeps growing stronger. I'll protect you. Yeah. Oh. God, what have I become? Oh. Back to the containment area. All right, doctor, I'll take care of it. You go with her. Go on. Sir. I can't allow you to leave with that. <laughs> right, of course. I'll take that. Thank you, doctor. <sighs> Keep up the good work, soldier. You want to help get your hand on that bullet wound or she'll bleed to death. Fix it, it's on deck on the way. Do something, doctor. Get out of her. I'll let her die, damn it. Ah! 
She's back. Let's get a surgeon in here right now. We gotta get those bullets out. Get her to a functioning hospital. They're in the street, all the people. It's all right. And the green is green. Get her in the ambulance. Let's go. Little girl. Hi. Would you like to see what's inside here? Sure. Hey, tell you what. Why don't you and I pour it on the can? fret over me. You be quiet. I've hunted this thing for 50 years. And I failed to entomb it. Today you won. Listen to me now. There's always been someone who has hunted this thing. I'm the last one. You and Jack will take my place. You learn as I did. Trial by fire, my friends. Quite completely insane, you know that.
life and baby. <laughs> Reichman's dead. It's loose. You all right, sir? You look like you've got a fever. I'm gaining back my strength. Have a nice trip, sir. His name was in the hat. The missing salesman from here in Boston, last seen getting on a train. I need to see the autopsy. And there's no body. He went into a crowded restaurant in Chicago and sat in a chair and burst into flames. It was so hot that the iron coils in the cushion melted. I've heard reports of spontaneous combustion. There's no known scientific explanation. Why this salesman? Why was he chosen from all the people on that subway? I don't know. Random, maybe, but I don't think so. No. No, this thing knows exactly what it's doing. Given what we know about its life cycle, the burning of this salesman's body is not going to be enough. No, it has to feed. Are you with us? No one's going to believe this, you know. Don't just say we're crazy. <laughs> You guys get me away from this hospital. This place gives me the creeps. <laughs> 